We're on a bit of a miss today, Fano. Got all the dive gears packed up. Following my channel for a while, you uh, know a bit of the backstory behind Kai Down Under and where I come from, Bluff, and where I moved away to. I moved away to Perth, Australia. I was there for about a year, um, working doing FIFO. Uh, but yeah, took the mission off now, took the goals off financially, and yep, back for good, back in the motherland. Yeah, I'm just going to swing by this old spot that, I, that I've dived over the years. Usually it's loaded with cray, so hopefully this uh, this cray, cray cave has got some, some big boys in there for me. So when I was in Oz, I only got to dive three times. Probably the biggest reason why I didn't get out much diving while I was over there was I was just mahi 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 smashing. We're making that dosh, hard yakka with no days off Put on the high vis shirt with the steel cap boost This grind ain't never gonna stop, chasing that paper Hold it down for my old souls out there breaking their backs Trying to put food on table or save up money so the family could just kick back Look, The whole purpose of me going over there was to better myself financially You know, I was spiralling out of debt here uh, With these huge, huge costs for living In uh, Aotearoa, you know, we're getting Personally guys, I reckon we're getting skim day Excuse the French, but the system's kind of fucked here, man. Like, we're just paying an arm and leg for everything. Everything's getting exported overseas. That's why I enjoy doing this shit and getting my own food. Conditions aren't really the best. We've got a got a pretty hearty wind coming, but I think I've felt a uh, I think I've found a sheltered spot to to get out for the day. A little bit of a roll there too. Unsure what the biz is like, but we're about to find out. You know, it's times like these where I really appreciate having the experiences that I've had and having the knowledge and the skills to be able to gather my own food. Uh, on this day and age, it's something that's sort of dying out. We're relying on supermarkets and relying on the system to have our way of life and survive. So to be able to still do this sort of thing uh, really buzzes me out and I, I really take some, some pride in that. Already come across heaps of flowers, Fano. Seen a couple of small mooki and uh, some kelpies already, so sure it could be on. So when I'm diving, even if I'm not spear fishing or the target isn't fish, I'll always take my spear gun. Sometimes it can be a hassle carrying it around, but you're always better to be safe than sorry and to have it if you need to use it uh, than not having it at all. And one of the main benefits of taking a gun with you is if you encounter any sharks, you can keep them at a good distance and hopefully fend them off. So some of the different uses um, that you can use your gun for is for burley, you can find some kind of, uh, on the sea floor, crush them up and bring some fish in. Um, but a lot of the time I will carry around my gun connected to my float so that it's always with me and if I ever see something like some craze I can just drop that gun down and mark that area off.
and that's exactly what I done there. I dove down with my gun, searched around, I found uh, the cave that I was looking for, marked it off with the gun, which can really help in dirty water and low vis. Uh, and now I'm just back up on the top, having a good breathe up. And even though I can't see the bottom clearly from the surface, I know where it is. I just follow the line down, uh, find my gun, and I know where that cave is. Female cray there. See, there was another few in there as well. Those will be right at the back of the cave now, though. So I'll pop down and see if there's any still there, but I doubt it. Those would have scuttled right to the back of that cave. So, chirp, good to see that cave is uh, still alive and kicking. I came across this crack loaded with craze. Uh, keeping in mind this is only in two, three meters of water, but unfortunately they are just out of my reach, deep down in this crack. Uh, there was a good four or five of them in there, but I had a wee crack at one of them here and couldn't really reach it. I was just ripping his feelers off, so I thought I'll leave those ones for another time. Every time I dive back under, I'll come across a cray or another nest of crays. Now you can see the spear gun there marking off this area that I dropped on the previous dive where I got to the end of my breath hold and I seen these crays, but I didn't have enough breath to have the confidence to go in and grab them. Working in dirtier water where you can't see the bottom uh, from the surface is a bit harder, but there's some tricks like dropping your spear gun that can really help you out. Straight back into it, the craze were definitely out today. I think I easily could have bagged out double the limit uh, today, but you know that's not what we're all about, Fano. We're all, all about taking uh, only only what we need to take, you know. Sometimes that might be for a feed, sometimes it might be for a little bit more. Um, if you've got Fano, Komatua, friends, or a tangi that you're providing for. At this stage I had five crazes in the float so I was looking for that last one. I came across a massive buck who was tucked under a rock, I couldn't really see him, I was quite blind to him so I just grabbed at whatever I could 
and ended up grabbing one of his claws which I thought was a feeler and ended up actually ripping it off sadly and this is also one of those times where the GoPros decided to play up uh, so I didn't have any more footage for the rest of the dive whanau so that's the last of the underwater footage here and yeah we'll see you guys back on land eh made it out alive Fano. not gonna lie it was pretty rough smashing in all those swells in there GoPro went flat out there again I don't know what's going on there but gonna have to sort it out because it's uh, sort of ruining filming these missions you know I ended up getting a pretty good car out there check this out got my limiter craze which I don't do too often um, but yeah, some of the boys want to feed and I'm also trying to live self-sustainably as possible as well A couple of kinder there. I know they're not going to be that fat in this spot. They never they never really are but um, If you haven't seen a fish like this before this here is called well I've always known it as a leather jacket the texture of its skin. It's sort of really rough just finer scales Really good eating fish though. I never used to shoot them. They're just they're not evasive at all. They don't try even try and get away from you. They come up to you, they're like wee dogs. Good size craze out at the moment actually. Check out this beast. Check him out. He's huge man. I don't know, he's probably, yeah, maybe just pushing the three kg mark. Nothing uh, nothing too big, but um, yeah, he's definitely bigger than the rest of them. Got these gears into my bag now. Whack one of those kinners open. Pack away those crays and get ready for a long hike home. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be the best kinnit, but ah, uh, well, maybe a little feed. Probably more guts than kinnit. Just enough for a wee taste. Better than nothing, oi. Yeah, pretty much nothing inside these. I'm getting attacked by sand flies. Let's get out of here. Koki te tangaroa. Hey miss, what you doing? You trying to get your bike? Hey, you know the code? <laughs> you reckon? Washed all the gears up now and uh, had a bit of a shower, clean. Just get on to uh, sorting out this Kai, eh? The old Kai Moana bench. I missed this while I was an Aussie. Just wanted to show you guys these um these beautiful blades by indigenous blades um check these out Fano they're absolutely mint eh? so that's your boning knife and it's got a beautiful pattern on it there I'll use this one here there's a steak knife bag full of craze Drop them off to the boys later. Whoa! Big old bucket that one, look at him. Very, very interesting fish this one. I've always felt, you know, not afraid, just didn't really like shooting them, but Hey, today, he's going to end up on the plate. A lovely, lovely leather jacket. Nothing too fancy on that leather jacket, just got a bit of salt and pepper on both sides and I'm going to fry it in uh, garlic butter. Oh, 
Det ser ut så den i det. That's on, man. You know, I've built a bit of a following now, and uh, for a while now, people have been saying to me, when are you gonna do some more YouTube videos? We wanna see some more content, all that sort of thing. But hey, man, you know, life goes on. I've been really busy uh, working for my family, you know, doing what a man's gotta be doing to get by in life. And um, yeah, I'm back now, so you can expect some more content soon. Hopefully got some mean missions planned with the bros. Pretty shitty timing, you know, it's, uh, gonna be the last day of summer pretty soon like in a few days I think so you know at least the viz is sort of uh, better in winter time but um you know a lot of this wind is gonna be hanging around for a while so those diving days will be few and far between anyways if you like that video don't be afraid to uh, hit that subscribe button head on over check out my Facebook um, also my Instagram and uh, catch you guys on the next episode Kai Down Under